Eric Williams joins us from Trinity Episcopal Church in Belleville, Michigan, where, Eric, you've been one of our early subscribers, and how is it going? I would say it is overall going well with um, some challenges. Okay, okay, what are some of the challenges you face? The challenges are really getting people to uh, individually sign on and use the service. Um, our success has been in gathering people together on Sunday mornings for our adult forum uh, where they can just come and not go through any of the steps, just watch together uh, the videos, do the quizzes together, talk together in the same room. I think that's the comfort level, the traditional model of education. And so we've just used Church Next to be the content portion of that um, class. But the format otherwise is comfortable. You know, come have a donut, sit in the usual place, and talk together about various subjects. Okay, um, so you've actually been putting it on the big screen then and having people take it to, as a group. That's correct, yeah. And the uh, idea is that this gives us flexibility because people often have to miss. If you do a four or five or six week class, very rarely do you get the exact same group of people to come every week. So I've been uh, advertising this as a way to take the class and then to uh, when people have to be absent, they can log on and take it from our online school and fill in the missing gaps. And what surprised me when people have tried to do that, uh, we've also advertised it through the parish for anyone to sign on and you know take the classes from home. But even the people who are what I would consider fairly savvy with technology um, seem to struggle just to just to get going with it. You know, there was um, there's such a as I'm sure you found um, personally and otherwise there's such a a wide range of comfort level with even relatively straightforward online technology. And, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So then. Um, Let's see. So, so you you've advertised this. Hey, we're going to show these kind of six sessions at the you know in church. If you can't make one, um, you know, you can take it another way online. Have you found people have been actually keeping up and taking them online? Yes, uh, at least two people have reported that they did take. Well, no, three I would say um, have reported that they did take um, the missing classes at home when they couldn't be there, and they said that was nice because then they could fit right back in with the group the next week. Sure, sure. And so how has this affected kind of your formation, you know, in, in general? Is this something that you, you see, you know, doing in the future? Is this just a flash in the pan? I mean, how are you categorizing this? Um, I believe this is the best way for us to offer Christian formation for adults going forward. Not the only way. Uh, Trinity had has had for a long time EFM and they've had a regular Sunday night uh, Bible study. Um, though the EFM is on hiatus this year while they build a new uh, starting class. Um, the Sunday night group uh, has been meeting off and on and they have their own kind of uh, energy. I've, I've said I would meet with them and um, teach them how to use uh, Church Next if they wanted to use one of those modules for their um, Sunday night class and they, they're considering it sometime this next year. Um, but I think this is going to be a very important um, method going forward for adult formation. Yeah. This, fall, this fall we've been really focusing on preparation for confirmation, adult confirmation, reception, reaffirmation. The bishop is coming at the end of January. So I said, hey, as a, as a kind of first step, let's, let's use the classes which will be the building blocks uh, for uh, membership, full membership in the church. And only one person, I think, is preparing for confirmation, but we've still had about uh, 8 to 15 people at our uh, adult forums, which is, is okay. Mm -hmm.